What's up everyone, Darkscream217 here, and with me is a guest, Mitsuhide the Vagrant. What's up? And today I just want to do a little vlog about my experience in the first convention I've ever been to. Um, that convention was... Sorry, asshole. That convention was Louisiana May. It's actually going on today, but I only caught the um, Saturday sh um the Saturday events because well this was a very very last minute planning there's actually a story I almost didn't make it to the convention but I'm going to leave it at that mm -hmm. and um, you know what I don't feel like talking that much uh, since you were at the convention before me what did you do before I um, before I showed up well, after uh, I went and got my uh, badge, ticket, whatever you want to call it, um, went and checked out all the rooms they had. They had the concessions room. I didn't really go get any food from there. They had uh, the main event room, the three panel rooms, which I didn't even go to until the end of the night. A, ga a gaming room, which I spent most of my time in, playing Street Fighter 4 and doing pretty well. Except um, we'll get to that. And uh, they had... Uh, the dealer's room, I forget that. Uh, when I went, that I desperately went around looking for something to buy with the $20 I had left to spend. Uh, at least four different times I went inside the dealer's room. Um, overall, I was, uh, I found the econ, the convention to be a blast. Uh, it's like the MegaCon I went to last year. Uh, so is this? So you've been to a lot of conventions before? No, this is just the second one. Ah, oh, second one. This is my very first. Yeah. All right. Well, I showed up an hour late because when I called him up, he was already on the road. So I had to get directions, MacQuest, and then I ran to my car and just drove there. And um, I showed up about an hour later, and then I got my badge right here. And I picked up the panel. I didn't. Even, I didn't even know what to expect. Like this is my first ever, first convention. I had no idea what who was going to be there, what was going on. They had a schedule showing off all the events right here, and they had this little pam pamphlet I picked up. So I basically looked at it. I went, huh? Events, cosplay ball, cosplay contest, blah blah. Don't shit. I don't give a shit about. Uh, and then I opened to the voice actor guess. Troy Baker, Leia Clark, Monica Rio, Scott McNeil, and the VA signing was actually happened the moment I got, uh, I showed up at the convention, so I basically got in line, but I couldn't find anything, um, the VAs that I want uh, autographs from, for them to sign, I brought, brought my little mobile device, which I used to play music, it's got a bunch of autographs here, but as you can see, it's actually not holding up. But then I found some, uh, they had a couple, some really good guest arts uh, artists at the main hallway. And, god damn, I, I feel like such a dick. I don't remember this dude's name. I think it was Chuck something or whatever. Uh, anybody familiar with this guy's artwork or art style, please comment and tell me who this person is. What's the name on the back? Oh, uh, well, he autographed his name right here, but I cannot make it out. No. Well, yeah. Well, anyways, I picked something up. There were two lines. There was a line for Monica, the, the cast of Soul Leader, basically. Um, Troy couldn't make it. I heard he was coming down with something, and he had a lot to do prior to it. Very busy schedule or something. And then Scott McNeil had an entire booth to his own. Get this, the line for Scott was way longer than the line for the other people. And I was waiting on the Scott line, but then I had to stop waiting there and had to wait till the overflow because uh, time was running out. So I grabbed this picture and I decided to get uh, autographs from uh, Leia Clark and Monica Riel. They signed the top parts right here. And I do like Monica Riel, and it's interesting that she has such a high-pitched voice. Um, again, I was blown away by it when I heard her uh, comment, heard the commentary track on Pooty Pooty Poemi. I'm like, wow, she actually does sound like that. I thought she would sound more like uh, Niamo from Azamanga Dayo. 
Well, then afterwards, I another I persevered some more, and then I waited in line for the VA signing overflow, and I finally got Scott McNeil's autograph right there. Billy Uso Rock, Scott McNeil, and uh, I also got some autograph signings at the badge too. So I basically got two out of three um, autographs. They're probably gonna stay intact for a while, and you know. I did get Scott McNeil to say one thing, and it was from the U.S. Street Fighter cartoon, Ken's Ultimate Insult. And you! You're a loser! And I actually mentioned that to Scott. I mentioned, oh, the, uh, I want him to say something from the U.S. Street Fighter cartoon. All of a sudden he goes, oh, crap. It was in the 90s. I was young! And I actually described the scene to him. And then I described that he, uh, he just responds by calling Fei Long a loser after Fei Long told him that he knew was treating and turned against all his friends. He's like, that's the best line he could come up with? <laughs> so yeah, um, guys autograph, I got a real big smile on my face after I left the panel room. And I uh, believe at, right after that, you called me for the Super Street Fighter 4 tournament. Apparently, you were actually holding a position for me for the guy who was holding the tournament. Yeah, because I wanted so to I could join if in. you were interested or not. I, I it depended. It, it, if the competition was hot, um, like if it was really worth uh, challenging, and it was, <laughs> <laughs> then yeah, I would just join just to, uh, even though it's a waste of $5, I would join for shits and giggles. Um, if it wasn't, I'd still join anyways, and I'll beat everybody because, uh, yeah, there were there were actually a fair share of gamers at the convention. See, um, last year there was a Halloween party at our anime club, mm -hmm. and uh, um, somebody brought an Xbox and they brought the original copy of Street Fighter Four, and I was playing on that, and some people would come up to challenge me. But they didn't know a goddamn thing about Street Fighter, and much less fighting games in general. Because they would, they, they would go up to me and say, "Okay, what button do you have to press to punch?" It's a fighting game. I'm pretty sure it's almost any button you can think of. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, the tournament was full of some really good players, and I got kicked off pretty fucking early. I only won one match, and it was against him. Um, I lost to the guy who was holding the tournament, and he was a guy player, and a fucking good one at that. Best guy player I've ever seen. Um, afterwards, I really didn't pay attention to the rest of the competition, because A, I was hungry, so I grabbed some at the concessions, and B, I wanted to see, uh, if, um, what kind of players they had at the, uh, at the Blaze Blue section. See, there was a DDR section, a Rock Band section, a Super NES section, and like two different sections, a GameCube section for Smash Bros. Melee, and a Wii section for Smash Brothers Brawl! So, I, um, I decided to check out the Blaze Blue one, because that was another fine game I was getting into, and uh, there were some pretty decent players, but not really, there was only like one good, uh, actually two of them, but then again, not many people were playing in general. So, yeah. Hey, at least I got better with Makoto. And at one point, they had three Super Street Fighter 4 set up, which one was on PS3. Yeah. Uh, and then we, we went our separate ways again. I decided to go to the voice acting workshop, which is pretty much like my acting class here in college. And the person who was doing all the voice acting co uh, coaching was uh, Leia Clark. And I decided to go in there because I major in theater and I like to do some acting. So, we did a, um, we did a couple, the, all the scenes that everyone was doing was from this anime called Suzuka. I've seen it on anime shelves, I never really looked to pick it up. Um, I did a little script reading with, uh, with, uh, another scene partner that I just met at the anime club, uh, yeah, anime convention, and, um, Oh wait, you actually read stuff off a script? Yeah, we, we she gave us a script, and during the break, I we read it, took a look over, um, 
then after the break, we waited until our scene showed up, and then our scene came up. We were, I believe, we were the last people to do our scene, um, and I, uh, we did our scene, and she, wow. Okay, she coaches. This is this is how she coaches. She actually coaches by pl us playing the opposite genders. She thought it was a great idea, but then for some reason she thought halfway through she's like, "What is she thinking?" Then we got onto our regular lines, and then she. The thing about acting coaches is that they will put you in like weird situations. So like, okay, here's what I want you to do. I want you to close your eyes. I want you to close your eyes, and I want you to say. I'm sorry, and I want you to mean it, and if you think he means it, uh, raise, uh, raise your hand, and I'll pat you on the, and I'll pat this person on the shoulder, tell him that he, he can stop saying it, or whatever, and it's basically trying to get you to emote more, and again, my acting classes do that a lot, so she's actually pretty much uh, like a good, uh, an acting teacher, a really damn good one.